I even got to the point where I had to take my client personally to a bank and show them how to submit a wire and how to push the wire through to actually get the deal done. I wanna tell you exactly what it was like for my very first transaction as a real estate agent and how I failed miserably. You're gonna to learn to stay away from the pitfalls that I experienced and hear a very comical, horribly painful experience for me as a brand new real estate agent. As a brand new real estate agent, I prepared literally zero for the career. I jumped in with hardly any money in a savings account, which is the first mistake that I made. You want an emergency fund for the time it takes to succeed. I was just hopeful that I would see success, that I was gonna work super hard and get immediate results. That is the exact opposite of what happened. I ended up spending months making no money, stressing endlessly, and honestly hating real estate. I was failing day in and day out and it was just emotionally draining. The biggest problem is I had no savings account and no knowledge. I had no idea what I was doing and was just throwing darts at a board in the dark, hoping that one would stick, hoping I would get a deal, and hoping I would find success. This is wrong. You want to have a mentor, you want to have a roadmap, and you want to have a detailed plan for success so you know exactly where you're headed in your real estate career. So let me paint the picture for you. I was a brand new real estate agent, no money in my bank account, and was cold calling really, really horrible Facebook leads. Now, don't get me wrong, I believe that there are no bad leads either if you can know how to sell properly and how to communicate properly. One, I didn't know how to do any of that. I had never had a sales job before and all I was doing was just pretty much asking if they had thought about buying or selling real estate over the phone and 90% of the people had no idea what I was talking about because the ad was old, the ad was not directed to them and I just didn't know how to start the conversation properly. So I was doing a horrible job. I was set up for failure and I take that on myself and I have learned a ton from it since then. And that's why I'm creating this video so you don't make the same mistakes. I was a brand new agent calling these Facebook leads and I landed my first appointment. It was the holy grail, best feeling of my entire life and I was ecstatic. So the appointment came and I showed up at the office and the client actually came in through the door. I was so, so excited, but there was a big problem right off the bat. We had a horrible time at communicating. This client's first language was not English, and so communication was a brutal. I was trying to explain the process, I was trying to ask questions, and it was not going anywhere. Luckily, we were able to get a translator, in a sense, his relative, on the phone to communicate back and forth through the process. This is obviously mistake number two. The communication was horrible. We had to practically go through another person to get answers, to be able to communicate properly. And in a real estate transaction, you want to have crystal clear communication. For me, that didn't happen. There was hardly any communication and my messaging was not getting across. And so if you've done a deal before or if you know anything about a real estate transaction, there were major, major problems throughout the process because I was on one page, my client was on the other, and we were not communicating properly. So what ended up happening for me is my client got really upset with me and I got really upset with my client. And we were just butting heads, trying to get a deal done, trying to find a house, and I had no idea what I was doing or how to communicate. By some miracle, I was able to get this client under contract, they were happy, they found a house that they loved, and then we ran into the next huge problem. I had no idea how to start the lending process or what questions I should be asking my client to make sure that they had done the right steps to be approved and be able to purchase the home that we just went under contract for. Luckily, I was smart enough to have them get pre-approved, but there were huge problems still that needed to be hurdled. The first was on my very first deal, this specific client didn't have a traditional form of identification. So the approval process was brutal. They were based off of an out of the United States identification system, which is very, very tricky. On top of that, they were screeching by with the amount of income they made, the down payment, and the loan program to even pull it off. I even got to the point 
where I had to take my client personally to a bank and show them how to submit a wire and how to push the wire through to actually get the deal done. Luckily, this entire process was solved. An awesome lender communicated with me, got the process done, and I closed on my very first transaction. After this, it was a desert once again, and I was back to ground zero. As a new real estate agent fighting through this process, I was devastated. I had no idea still what I was doing. I made hardly any money from the transaction. And so I want to share with you the very most important top three things that you need to know as an agent when you're getting started so you don't fail like I did and have a horrible beginning to your real estate career. The first is getting a mentor or a brokerage that gives you incredible support so you know exactly what you're doing in the beginning. What is extremely important about this relationship is that it is a very very short and expedited process until you are up to speed. Having a mentor is fantastic. They're great to answer questions, show you the ropes and get you on your way to success. But you don't want to be having a mentor for way too long to the point where you don't need them anymore and you're still splitting your commission to the point where it's costing you a massive amount of money. Instead, Learn what you need from a brokerage or mentor and make sure they want you to spread your wings and fly and go build your own business. Number two is understanding the real estate purchase process. Real estate is great, but when you get licensed, it's flawed to the point where you don't have any idea of how to even write a real estate contract, how the real estate purchase system works of going under contract and all the nuances of actually doing a transaction. You need to understand the basics and luckily for you, I provide those resources and I can answer your questions. So if you're a new agent and you want to learn the basics of how to actually be successful, know how a transaction works and be confident in every aspect of the business, leave a comment below and say, add me and I'll add you to my Facebook group where I teach exactly this. Now, number three is when you get started, make incredible relationships with business partners that are going to help you in the future. Some of the most important relationships that I've made is a lender that is phenomenal at their job. They do an incredible job of taking care of my clients, giving them top-notch service, and getting the deal done. Other relationships are like a photographer, a title company, inspectors, and so many more. So with all of these three, put together having a mentor knowing exactly what you're supposed to be doing on a transaction basis and as a real estate agent in general as well as having partners that you can leverage for more success you won't fail like I did with my first transaction and you will have way less stress Hopefully you like this video. If you want to learn how to get more clients and scale your business, watch the video right here of how I knock doors for more leads for absolutely free. I'll see you there.